Hello, Dr. Mintz. I wanted to discuss a case here. This is a four-year-old male that came in with a cough. Now look at the frontal view and look at the lungs. Here you can see a little peribronchial thickening and you can see that also in the hilar regions a little bit. The markings around the bronchi are a little thickened. Okay, but what I want you to do now is look beneath the hemidiaphragms. Look beneath the hemidiaphragms and see what you can see through the hemidiaphragm. If you look on the left here, remember the stomach bubble is beneath the left hemidiaphragm of course, you look through the left hemidiaphragm and you can see lucency corresponding to the lung and you can even see some lung markings through that. Look on the right side, similarly you can see some of the lung lucency and as you come medially you encounter these increased markings. They're kind of prominent. Let's zoom in a little bit more and see a little more closely what this looks like. See how these are more prominent than you would expect to be just related to continuation of these vessels inferiorly to the right base. So now let's go to the lateral view and say, okay, what is that? Here's a lateral view. <clears throat> here you see one diaphragm and the other. Which one is which? It's kind of hard to tell here, but remember you can use your stomach bubble as a reference. You know the stomach bubble is beneath the left hemidiaphragm and this diaphragm then is too low. This cannot be the left hemidiaphragm since the stomach bubble would have to be below it. So this is the left hemidiaphragm and this is the right. Okay, now if, given that this is the right and this is the left, what else do we see? We see this kind of radiating opacity here in the lung that What's it doing? Well, this left hemidiaphragm is very sharp. The right is very indistinct. Very important. This is indistinct, feathery looking. Portions of it you can see and then you kind of lose it. That's because this is an airspace process in the right lower lobe effacing portions of the right hemidiaphragm. So this is what we saw on the AP view and if we zoom in a little more closely you can again appreciate that you're seeing lung nicely beneath the right hemidiaphragm, you're seeing lung here as lucency, and then it changes when you get into this area more medially. Correlating that with the lateral view, we can see this is the left hemidiaphragm because it's the one that's above the stomach, and that makes this the right hemidiaphragm, which is all effaced and partially silhouetted by this area of airspace disease. So this could be either atelectasis or pneumonia. And Patients with peribronchial cuffing often will get <clears throat> atelectasis. Now, this is not a great example, but if you get thickening of the bronchi enough, it'll narrow down the bronchi, get a little mucus plug in there too, and you'll get atelectasis, and that can give you an area of opacity like this. It can subsequently become infected, and then you develop a pneumonia. So it's usually very hard for us to tell radiographically whether we're dealing with an atelectasis or pneumonia. This is extensive enough though that I would worry about a pneumonia because of the range, the extent of right hemidiaphragm that's being effaced in this case.